introducing the auto page uh, 425 uh, let's go over a few things this is a Dodge Magnum 2006 they already tried breaking into the car three times I'm gonna show you guys what they try to do they try to stick a screwdriver underneath the door cylinder here to pry the door and get in uh, so the, this is like the second time they try to break in so he they uh, actually they got in one time but this time they couldn't get in maybe they got spooked and they took off but anyway this is uh, the auto page 425 to uh, arm the alarm you're gonna hit lock to disarm it you're gonna hit unlock the, we hooked it up to the door lock so that way he's got the keyless entry it will unlock all the doors and then whenever he wants to arm the alarm you're gonna hit the lock and that will lock all the doors okay uh, and it will tell you arm right there in the corner of the remote control you can see the battery level so if the battery starts wearing down the you'll lose a little bar uh, the little tower antenna right here lets you know when you're in the range uh, to disarm it, you're going to hit on this arm here. It's going to tell you disarm in the corner. Okay. Uh, and then you still got the little uh, tower antenna in the corner. This will unlock all the doors. We hooked it up to the starter kill. So uh, if the alarm fires off, the alarm will uh, prevent the car from starting. We're going to arm it. We're going to show you guys how it works. We mounted the LED inside. You can see it there flashing. Uh, basically, if somebody tries to blow out the window, the alarm will fire off. Okay. Flash the lights around the car. Okay. I'm gonna disarm the uh, disarm the alarm, but that's basically how uh, you disarm it by hitting unlock. Otherwise, it will ring for two and a half minute, minutes and it'll reset when I arm the alarm again. If somebody comes and opens the door, that will fire off the alarm, and then the little door is gonna appear in the corner of the little picture of the little car. Okay. Car won't start. It prevents the car from starting. Okay. If you turn off the alarm, then the car will crank right up. Okay. Uh, it's got a hit and switch, so in the event that you break or you lose the remote control, you can turn the key in the ignition, and you got about three th seconds to press a little button, and that will disable the alarm. Uh, actually, you got to press it. Uh, it's like a little combination you got to do, and then that will disable the alarm. Uh, the customer will know which combination he has to press because the day of the installation we show him how to do it. Uh, every alarm is different on the, on the combination to disarm it. Uh, and basically, uh, that's it. The batteries are AAA. You don't have to go too crazy trying to locate them. You can go anywhere and get them. It's got a one mile page uh, range. Uh, another thing, there's another video in the bottom that compares the SkyTech, the Excalibur, and this alarm system. Uh, I talk about all three remotes, uh, you know, that way you can uh, decide which one you want to get. They're all pretty much around the same price. Uh, they're all very good alarms. They've been tested by us over and over and over. Uh, they all got lifetime warranty. So any selection that you pick, uh, don't feel uncomfortable. They're all great alarm systems. This alarm was installed in Miami, Florida by Ottawa Alarm Specialists. Thank you for your time.